Hi, I'm Dr. Alice, Associate Professor in Microbiology. In this lecture, we'll be learning about the normal human microbiota, its advantages, disadvantages, and the various infections that it can cause as an opportunistic pathogen. So the learning objectives in this lecture would be, what is the normal microbial flora? and how does it originate and what is the residential flora and the transient flora and what are the advantages and disadvantages of a normal flora and we'll be looking into the normal flora of various sites like skin, conjunctiva, nasopharynx, oral cavity, respiratory tract, gastrointestinal tract and urogenital tract. And also we'll be looking into the risks associated with this normal flora and how normal flora can become an opportunistic flora. And we'll also be looking few points about notobiology, about probiotics and prebiotics. So now what is normal microbial flora? They are diverse group of microorganisms which includes bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites, and they are present, they'll be present in a particular anatomical site in the human body. So what are the sites we commonly encounter this normal microbial flora? Mainly we encounter them in the skin, then alimentary tract, urogenital tract, oral cavity, nose, eyes and ears. So these are the uh, main sites where we encounter this normal microbiota. So why do we need to understand the location, the advantages and the disadvantages of these normal flora? It will give us a clear insight of what possible infections it can cause if there is a breach from their normal site of location. So now these are the areas where these normal flora usually colonize. They are abundantly present in the gastrointestinal tract, especially the colon. Next, they will be present in the oral cavity, then the skin, then the small intestine, then uh, they will be present in the conjunctiva but very less extent, the urogenital tract and also the respiratory tract. So these are the main sites where these organisms reside. So how do these normal flora originate? When you take a healthy fetus in utero, they will be free of microorganisms. No microorganisms will be present. But when it comes along the birth canal of the mother, it starts to acquire the flora from the mother and also from the external environment, say from the healthcare workers. So within few hours, especially the, uh, the nasopharynx gets colonized with the normal flora and most of the normal flora will be from the mother or from the uh, healthcare personnel or from the hospital environment. And in a day, the flora of the lower intestinal tract gets established. So now let's understand what is a resident flora and what is a transient flora. So resident flora means they are the permanent flora. They will be always there in our body as long as we live. Though Even though they are disturbed, they get re-established themselves. So that is a resident flora. And what is a transient flora? You call them as the temporary flora. Most of the pathogens fall under this transient flora. They will be loosely uh, entrenched uh, in our skin. So if we scrub them, easily they can go away. So they are called as the transient bacteria or the transient flora. So now let's look in detail about this resident flora. So they, the resident flora will be constant. Okay, at a particular site, it will be constant. Say E. coli. E. coli will be constant in the gastrointestinal tract. And they will be defined and they cannot be removed completely or permanently. Due to sudden uh, injury, if they are removed, they re-establish themselves. Say the person is taking antibiotics. But for some time, 
the intestinal flora can be washed away but then it gets re-established themselves so they cannot be removed completely say in the same in the case of the oral flora and they uh, they are acquired rapidly during or after birth and this resident flora will tell the age of the person will reflect the nutrition of the person it also depends on what nutrition the person has and the genetics of the person and also the environment of the person where he resides now coming to the transient flora they are the temporary flora they can be easily washed away they don't become firmly entrenched in our body so uh, mainly when you take this transient flora the hospital pathogens comes under this category mainly the drug resistant pathogens comes under this category uh, where we have this methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus and also we have this multi drug resistant gram negatives okay, so usually they reside in the hospital environment and if we do not practice uh, proper hand hygiene protocols we can easily transmit this infection to a susceptible host and uh, therefore uh, infection control practices are mandated in a hospital environment in order to limit the transfer of this transient flora which is again or multi drug resistant in nature